Okay, so I'm basically done with my makeup and I'm gonna show you guys just a little bit of what I did to get this makeup look and this look lasts me all day long and yeah so you want to see how I did this watch it but we're starting with a bare face and I first go in with this I like using this one um just a little bit though like I do not take a lot put that on and then I have this little fan that I use just to dry before moving on to the next step. The next step is I use this. This is the only one I like that I've found so far. I feel like every other one doesn't really do anything. I just wait for this to dry. Okay. Then... I take like the slightest amount of this, like literally barely any on the smile lines right here. And whatever is left, I just kind of put on my chin. That's the only area I like using it in. I, I don't feel like I need it in any other area. And then I use the fan again. Concealer, this is the one I use. The NYX. Can't stop, won't stop. And I like using the color vanilla. Once this feels like dry, yeah, and tacky, I go in with this, and then I just put it down here. This is how I put it, and then I kind of just let it sit there. I let it sit there while I put on my foundation. Uh, the one I've been using lately is this one. I really like this one because I wear my makeup to the gym. I wear it like I'll wear my makeup to work to the gym and like throughout my day. And with this, it does not budge. And this one doesn't make me break out or make my skin feel any type of weird. So shake this first while this is drying. And then I already have my wet beauty blender. So this is just how I do it. I apply some on there. Put I'm just gonna go one more time and kind of just make sure I don't have any creasing, especially under the eyes, smile lines make sure it's good and then what i use is the fit me i really like using this one and i use it in um 15 light so i just pour it in here and this is how this is like a key step to get your foundation to like stay on your face all day so and the other eye I basically get all the areas first that might crease just to make sure they're setting and we don't have any creasing then I literally go on my face everywhere with this to set the whole thing now what you're gonna do is I take my fit me the press powder in um, translucent. <clears throat> this is like my third one because I already hit pan on this one. So take this and then I really go and like press it in. And this one I do use on the areas that I want to look brighter using this one just to warm up my face a little so then i'm gonna go in with my blush i like using this one from she glam um i have a couple i have three of them this is the shade devoted so what i do is open it and i take a little bit on the back of my hand like this and then I dil dilute it a little bit with the Glow Recipe Drops. So I go in and just put some of that. And then I take, this is the 
e.l.f. putty brush and then I kind of just blend it on the back of my hand and then I go in then I go in again with the translucent powder just so I don't have like this like harsh line and go back in and, like blend kind of blend into it does that make sense do you see the difference and at this point my base is basically done um i usually go in with this and then i have lash extensions so sorry. i thought i wasn't recording this again i was like <laughs> so i go in with this it is the revolution Highlighter I use the next one in nutmeg. I really like this one. So I'm gonna do, do that and then I'm just gonna apply the elf lash and roll and then I got the color brown Just because I don't like my I'm not gonna put them on the actual extensions But I like wearing um, a little on my bottom lashes. So I go in in brown that way. It's not too dark I like okay so I'm done with my makeup that was basically it um, and then this lasts me all day with the combination that I did this this is like my go-to if I'm gonna just want makeup to last all day long <laughs> 